I am Rob from iTech Pickers. Uh, we are Thursday, uh, the 13th of uh, February, and uh, this is the coronavirus Wuhan virus update. Uh, so welcome to my channel. Uh, now, I'd like to make uh, a small disclaimer here uh, because uh, there's something uh, happening and it's not just happening to me, but it's happening in the YouTube community. Uh, as you know, there are like many U other YouTubers talking about uh, the Wuhan virus right now and especially there are some some big YouTubers uh, like talking about it and and uh, who are very concerned and uh, you know as they should be uh, YouTube has decided to crack down for some reason that uh, I can't I don't want really want to get into uh, but YouTube has decided to crack down on uh, YouTubers who, who, who actually talk about the corona uh, coronavirus Wuhan virus. So, uh, look, uh, I know that I know about a bunch of big YouTubers uh, who got they got demonetized the minute they started talking about it. Um, now, I w I was not monetized. Uh, I'm lucky in the fact that uh, my channel is uh, is a small channel with uh, very little views. So, uh, it did th this did not affect me. Uh, now, maybe in the future, maybe, uh, you know, don't be surprised uh, if YouTube just uh, deletes my account. I, I have no idea what's going to happen to the YouTubers who, who talk about this subject. Uh, if you look, uh, you know, below the video, uh, above the title, uh, it's likely that you're going to see a, a piece of advertisement for uh, the World Health Organization, okay? Uh, well, for one thing, this is proof that I'm not I'm not being monetized. And uh, secondly, YouTube pins this uh, this advertisement for the World Health Organization on pretty much every video that is being made about the coronavirus. Uh, they did not ask me my permission for that. Uh, and I would like to tell you that I do not endorse the World Health Organization. Uh, they are the biggest bunch of thugs, all right? And uh, I, you know, it's in times like this that you see just how corrupted these uh, these organizations. Uh, it's unbelievable. Uh, this, uh, the Dr. Tedros guy, uh, I, you know, I can't pronounce his name uh, properly, so I'll... You know, everybody knows who Tedros is. Uh, now, this morning, it looks like they, they've sacked him. They've gotten rid of him because he was uh, too much of a liability for the organization, obviously. Uh, this guy, he's a piece of work. Um, from what I can tell you, there, there's a ton of information about this guy. And I can't believe that the World Health Organization did not see this thing coming. Uh, I mean, um, starting from the fact that he's... Uh, He's thrown his own people under the bus uh, when he was a health, the health minister of Ethiopia because uh, that that's his background. But he was also the foreign affairs minister of Ethiopia uh, between uh, I think it's 19, for, uh, 2014 and 2016. Correct me if I'm wrong, uh, but uh, there's uh, there's plenty of proof that he's received millions of dollars in dirty money from China that he that he put in his own fucking bank account uh, most of it and uh, that's why that's why this guy is uh, he's working for China and you have seen him it's unbelievable that he has no concern whatsoever for the poor fucking people the little people who are dying they're seeing their 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 parents dying they are seeing their children dying and this fucking motherfucker this fucking piece of shit he has received millions of dollars of dirty money from china in between 2014 and 2016 so you know i'm sorry i'm gonna try to stay factual and i'm gonna you know gonna try to you know calm down the language uh but uh i mean this guy it's unbelievable it looks like they've sacked him uh, but the damage is done and uh, uh, listen if there are any any people of you and the world health organization who have any kind of credibility just come out and stop lying and stop 
telling lies to protect China and tell everybody the truth. People are dying. So that's all I have to say. So uh, we'll go with the show. All right. Uh, now we have the numbers that keep rising. Uh, there's uh, one death in Japan and uh, there's likely going to be more deaths outside of China. So stay tuned. So let's uh, start by uh, looking at the numbers for tonight. Uh, they have uh, updated the fake numbers uh, to reveal more cases. Uh, now it's uh, 65,000. Of course, we all know that uh, the numbers right now in China are about uh, 600,000. Uh, but I get the feeling that they're trying to put put more more and more cases every day uh, into the basket so that uh, it will look uh, the the numbers add up when the when the Americans show up because at some point they're gonna have to let uh, the the CDC and the Americans uh, into the country to to look at what's going on you know because the the they're already running out of. Uh, of medication and masks and all the the stuff needed to, to cure people to take care of people so of course they're gonna have the, the they're gonna have the americans soon uh because that's the way it always ends up with these countries you know so um uh 65,247 cases uh 1489 deaths which is about uh the real number is about 20,000 you know, so they're gonna have to put m more bodies into the the basket. Uh, but if, but if you know, but if this this regime is actually open about 1,400, that means there's a lot of them. There's a lot of bodies, you know. Uh, and uh, of course, we have seen videos from citizen journalists. Uh, uh, these piles of the these pileups of bodies in the hospitals. Uh, the, the the people waiting in the hospital with the bodies, uh, the bodies on the floor and on the seats. So we know there's, I mean, where there's way more bodies than that. Uh, and the numbers are, uh, I think the good, the good sign is that uh, there's uh, okay, there, there's one more death in Japan, which is uh, an old woman that. Uh, from what they say on the news, that she she has been contaminated by her by her son, or yeah, her son was a taxi driver, and might have gotten the the virus from uh, some uh, clients. So uh, one case in Japan, uh, well, so the three deaths in total outside of China, uh, but uh, you know expect these numbers to rise. It's not it's not gonna stay at that at that level. Uh, you have the critical cases. Uh, I hope they get uh, the best treatment possible, and they will in Japan. Uh, they will in Singapore and Hong Kong. I don't doubt about this. Uh, as far as the people in China, we know that uh, the hospitals are just not like the the Chinese state uh, television is, is trying to make them look like. Uh, these are dirty hospitals with no service, no doctors, uh, no equipment. And uh, people are just being turned away and told to, to you know, to go die inside their homes. So this is fucking disgusting, you know. Uh, so expect to see more of that um, in the coming days. Here's a little interesting article from the Taiwan News. Um, they have uh, decided that the Taiwan news the new newspaper to stick with the term Wuhan virus. Uh, until uh, the World Health Organization admits Taiwan and Beijing comes clean. Uh, so and uh, I will like to tell you that on my channel I will stick to the Wuhan virus no matter what kind of name uh, the World Health Organization tries to to put on the virus. Uh, so to me it's the Wuhan uh, coronavirus uh, and I will keep that, uh, that name until uh, you know the corruption stops and the truth uh, comes out and uh, i don't care if it's stigmatizing you know <laughs> um, so that's uh, they have taken a good position uh and i this i admire this and uh, i will do the same it's funny because this morning i was uh, 
I was uh, kind of watching the World Health Organization update and um, the Tedros guy wasn't there. He didn't show up and they uh, said that uh, unfortunately uh, uh, he had to take a plane and, and go to take care of some Ebola in, uh, in Congo. So I got this feeling that we probably won't see Tedros again. <laughs> Uh, I think the World Health Organization have realized that uh, this guy was a liability. And um, and if you look on the internet uh, and uh, do investigate this guy a little bit, you will see that uh, he's a piece of work. Um, he was a, a minister, long-time minister in a government that's... Um, that is known, a, gov a government uh, that has been known for uh, numerous violent, uh, uh, numerous human rights abuses in Ethiopia. Um, and, uh, you know, he's one of those, uh, those guys that has spent uh, pretty much all his life in the, in the, in a government of a, of a very, one of the poorest countries in the world. And he, he has a very big bank account, as uh, as what I've been told. So you know we have names for scumbags like that, but I'm, you know, I'm I'm gonna try to stay factual. Uh, he's faced allegations of uh, lying about cholera, cholera outbreaks in his country, uh, f you know, uh, to please his government, uh, which led to like hundreds of people dying. Uh, at some point, uh, you know, this guy has such a good judgment that he appointed, let me be clear, he appointed Robert Mugabe uh, as a goodwill ambassador uh, of the World Health Organization. Now, if you uh, know who Robert Mugabe is, he was the dictator, the brutal dictator of Zimbabwe. And, um, I mean, <laughs> it's like... Uh, it's like uh, appointing uh, Adolf Hitler to, uh, you know, the the Ministry of Sports or something. You know, uh, it's fucking unbelievable the lack of judgment that this asshole had, uh, you know, as a as a minister of uh, in his country's government or uh, in the, you know, as. Uh, as a member of the World Health Organization, and uh, you know when he came, uh, the, the, you know the first day w uh, when he did that uh, press conference about the coronavirus, and he he started uh, praising China that uh, China had uh, had done, uh, you know, had responded in the best way possible to this epidemic. There is another member of the World Health Organization who broke ranks. Uh, his name is John McKinsey. And he said, no way, I'm not standing up for this. China's attitude has been reprehensible from the beginning. And they, they still are reprehensible. And he probably lost his job, right? But, um, I mean, you know, and just look at all the stuff that's there on the internet about this guy. Uh, I can't believe... Uh, I can't believe uh, like nobody saw this coming. And I can't believe that this guy is still uh, is still in a, a position of power in the in the World Health Organization. So just look around uh, about all the corruption, uh, you know that about the World Health Organization is disgusting. Uh, while the poor people are dying, uh, looks like. Guys like uh, like Tedros, uh, they just think about uh, padding their wallets and their bank accounts. Uh, so you know, I just hope that uh, like the big countries just stop giving them money because they they are not worth that money. They should uh, they should appoint some some other people to take care of the problem because uh, you know we're, it's just gonna get worse with these guys. So finally, I'm going to keep this uh, episode short for tonight. Uh, you know, the uh, the pandemic is still going on. 
there's so much information. Uh, it's difficult to, to 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 keep up with the information. Um, now there's the there's the ship in uh, Yokohama. They they are still stuck. Uh, that uh, basically that that floating prison ship where they are keeping Canadians and Americans. Um, them not knowing what's uh, what's going to happen to them, and they're pulling out uh, cases after cases of coronavirus from that ship. Uh, I just hope they find a solution. Uh, maybe you know if what I'd like to tell to the the Canadian authorities, the American authorities, please take care of these people, and these are good citizens. Uh, you know, they're important, so go take care of them uh, and find out how you can. Uh, uh, help them get out of the ship uh, and find a, an alternative solution uh, for that because uh, they've been there for a week some of them are in uh, rooms that don't have any windows so it's like a you know a, pr a prison isolation on that ship so um, so please uh, help these people so look I'm Rob from my tech pickers please subscribe to my channel I'm coming back tomorrow with an update in French during the day and uh, an update in English uh, in the evening. And uh, we'll keep the discussion going uh, in the coming weeks, in the coming months, months uh, because we want to be prepared for this plague, because it's, it's coming out of China, and uh, your politicians uh, won't protect you.